Pisces, how you doing? So we're here again doing your weekly reading. It's coming around a lot quicker now. Lovers, judgment, five, fuck knows, aggression. I, I, I mean, none of these actually mean communication. <laughs> so I don't know, this could just be internal worry and stress and turmoil of a person that's not actually in your life. Like, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not kidding when I say, because I do a lot of personal readings, and a lot of the times I can never really make Edna tale of the questions that people want to know because they want to know the impossible, <laughs> right? Um, still connected to a person from fucking years ago. You know? uh, now, if you are, there's this argument of this person coming in and out of your life. But I'd just done Gemini reading over on YouTube. And I did say there could be a possible third party because there were a queen and a king and a emperor, but someone's still in love with someone here. But it's a weird fucking love energy here. Three of Pentacles. Gaslighting. Again, wandering energy. So if this is not anything to do with love, let's just get the fucking love life. Because if your love life's a pile of shit, Pisces, it's a pile of shit. If it's whatever you guys call karmic, it's karmic, right? You class it as whatever you want. But if this is to do with an individual on my own, it's mental health. It's a reading of mental health. It's depression, okay, anxiety, depression, mental health of ADHD, seven of swords, Conflict with a partner because of too much worry. Okay, you could have someone around you that worries all the time. I have it, a mother, always worrying, worrying. When I have anxiety, I can't be around someone that worries. I have to be on my own, right? So it'd be like an avoidance. It could be like a lot of built up attention. Like, will you just calm down and stop? Keep like, just leave me alone for a minute. I've got to be on my own, right? It can be, like I said, ADHD, depression is also this depression and mental health, anxiety is that, sleep deprivation. Seven of Swords, um, ADHD here, Five of Wands, conflict with someone. Here is also depression and mental health. And Eight of Cups is more of this wandering around aimlessly of, like, mental health, right? Because um, you, you see, you could, this is the fight or flight response, you see, trying to run from what isn't there, fear. I'm trying to run from fear of something happening trying to run from fear. You can't run from fear because it's just fear, <laughs> right? Fear isn't an actual thing. It's just something of a word that says fear and it's labelled to a feeling of fear, right? So if you're fearful for your life and someone puts a gun in front of your head, then you've got something to fucking worry about, right? But trust me, that anxiety would be different than the anxiety that you would feel when there's nothing there because when your persona of your life you look at and you have an adrenaline spike, okay, you have an adrenaline spike and it tells you to panic and worry. When you look around in your environment and there's nothing to panic or worry about visually because there's nothing bad happening, there's no murderer or people with guns or fucking all that, right? You're not actually seeing that. So your natural response of what you're eating, drinking or your mental health and your spikes of all what goes through your blood, it makes you panic because there's nothing to panic about. So it's fear. There's nothing there. Okay, so really what it is to do is is uh, more than likely your food and consumption of maybe people that have ADHD. Okay, but ADHD can also be under control by what you're eating and drinking. Okay, because if you drink obsessive amounts of alcohol, okay, or you eat loads of fast food, or you eat a lot of sugar, or you drink a lot of sugar, okay, that is a common cause of fear. Okay, because... Um, Insulin spikes, lowering insulin, raising in insulin, dropping in insulin, okay? With mental health, it'll affect your cortisol and then your adrenaline, okay? So you might be or should be looking at one's diet and mental health. That is the message if it isn't to do with a third-party metaphysical love life because that is all over the place here. No idea. Okay, four of pentacles, so what you should be doing, really, if it is to do with your love life here, um, Pisces, is fuck this, <laughs> right? Fuck this. If this is a love life and people are just upset, right, try having fucking mental health. 
try having depression, ADHD, panic attack and anxiety disorder, and maybe being overweight, right? Try that, <laughs> right? Trust me, that is much worse than people that are just like, oh, my ex, really, <laughs> right? So, you know, I'm hoping that this is going to be more of a, um, a diagnosis of like thinking, okay, if it, if this is a story to do with my love life, then fuck, there is more important things to go on in the world and look at than what there is just your love life here. Okay. Mental health. Right, because if I'm talking to people that are like, well, no, Steve, this is my love life and this is metaphysical and this is a karmic cycle or whatever, right? Believe you me when I tell you that the people that suffer through depression, anxiety, sleepless nights, mental health and ADHD and bipolar, that is much worse. I'll trade you any day. <laughs> I'd trade you any day where I wouldn't have to have that for a love life that's just, I'm going through something karmic. Fuck that. That's a breeze. It's an absolute breeze, right? Trust me, it is. So what should help you in that is realising, actually, I'm more luckier than most. So I need to get over myself, <laughs> okay, and get over this situation and think about how much fucking worse it could be, okay? And if you suffer from anxiety, then don't think that. <laughs> right? But you know what I'm saying. But that's all I've really got for you because that's all I can really work out. Okay? So go and work out. Do Go to the gym. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Really appreciate it. See you on your next one. Hey, guys, just in front of every single video, you might get fed up with this, but uh, <laughs> this is the new deal that I am now offering. So every single weekly reading that I do, every single monthly reading that I do, uh, 150 teaching videos that I've also got, meditation music, every time that, uh, or so Angel Radio that I do as a music producer, every time that I go live, you get a free question and answer. Also, chattering the deceased, when I go live, for the people over on the joy button, you get those, and you see, you get everything that I do. And it is all now at the cheap price of $3, and you can find that link below it, and it does tell you all about it. But that is literally everything that I've got. When we are over on the other side and we do that, that is where you will get your general weekly reading that is via this set of cards of the old right away. Okay. Then I do other things like the hidden truth, messages of closure, what's in the tea, how do they think about you, how do they feel about you. So you get a lot more for your money and it is literally only $3. Please make sure that you smash the like button and subscribe and leave me a nice comment every single time if you can. It really does help out the algorithm and join the join button below.